Welcome to another edition of Just a Bit Outside. Today we are going to talk about Jeff Goes to In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a little bit of the story behind this. About 2010, 2011, I decided to write a book about the best places in the United States to find a burger. I even had a website that I was, you know, went through what GoDaddy got a domain name. It was going to be called AmericasBestBurgers.com. I learned a lot. Now, obviously, you can't try every burger place in America to be able to write a book like that. You have to go through food reviews and stuff like that to be realistic. So, every night, they knew me at the Oldsmar Buffalo Wild Wings because I was in there every night doing my research with my little laptop and my, my little root beer next to me. And I learned so much about so many different burger places from the reviews. And it was a lot of fun. It really was. But I kind of got overwhelmed after a while because I realized there's no finishing this kind of book. It's just so much research. I think I had 376 places for the state of California alone. But what made it fun at the same time, though, is that I'd watch episodes of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And I'd see Guy Fieri, and he'd say, we're, today, we're trying a great place in Ocean Beach, California, and automatically I'd know that it was Hodad's in San Diego County. Or he'd talk about, today, we're in Spartanburg, and i go, Beacon Drive-In, and just, this went on nonstop. I was learning about the great places to try burgers in the United States, and it was a lot of fun. Well, here was the thing. Now, let me just tell you a little bit on this story. I actually did live in Southern California, San Diego County back in the 90s. And I remember when I was out there every day, it was a 20 minute trip from Oceanside back to my apartment and I would pass an In-N-Out Burger on 78. And I would look at it and you look at their logo and it looks kind of like another McDonald's. So I thought, ah. And on top of that, while I was out there, I remember talking to somebody saying, hey, where's a great place to find a good burger? And they told me, Carl's Jr. Yeah, so no offense to Carl's Jr. I do like their burgers, but it's not in and out. So fast forward to me writing this book and I'm doing the research and I'm finding all of these great places. I found a great place in Akron, Ohio. I found places in South Carolina, in Virginia, all these different states I was finding great burgers. Plus here in the Tampa Bay area, I found a lot of places that had great burgers also. So the burger book was a lot of fun to write. But what I noticed during my research, now I was gonna separate between the mom and pop places and the chains. Now when it came to the chains, one of the things that was interesting, I'm doing my research, and people would talk about, they, were, they would be doing a food review, and they would say, yeah, this was a really great place for a burger, but we're from California and it's not as good as In-N-Out. And I saw this over and over and over. Now I, I saw some, some similar things with Five Guys, 
but in and out just really seemed to carry the day. So I'm sitting there thinking about all those trips I took on the 78, going past in and out Burger and never once stopping by. So I kind of started getting curious about that and just finding all the reviews. So it was obvious that when I rated the chains, in and out was going to be a clear-cut winner. They were clear-cut going to be this winner because their cult following and stuff like that. Incidentally, I've gotten caught up in that cult. I have seven in and out t-shirts. So I do enjoy in and out Well, here's the thing. It took me till just a few years ago to actually try in and out burgers in person. And the last time I was in Texas, the second I got off the plane, when a friend picked me up, the first thing I told him was, take me to in and out <laughs> So, what you're about to see, this is the video of my very first chance after all of these years hearing about what a great place In-N-Out was, and I actually got to try it in person. So you're about to see the video from the first time. That's Kevin and Cindy Dudley that were with me. They took me there to let me try it in Cedar Park, Texas. Anyway, here we go. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay. Is it going? Are you filming? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, for you if you touch the right that. I did. Okay, that's Cindy and Kevin behind the camera. As me, you guys know, I am actually at In and Out. In and Out Burger. The story behind it, I've never tried it. I've been wanting to try it for years and years, so let's find out how it is. Double double. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try those fries too. Fries look okay. <laughs> I'm moving it. Like it's good. It? It's, it's good. good. It's a sloppy burger, but it's good. So your thoughts, Kev? Oh, it's good. I got the bunless burger. Awesome. So, and I have the, the and I have the single. <laughs> What? I have the single. Just the hamburger. Not the double double. I can't do double You're double. A I am, yes. So. Peace out. Just a bit outside. 